You will need some flour that you're going to dump into a bowl. Then you crack one egg or two or several as you like. Pour in some milk. Mix everything until it becomes a homogeneous mixture. This might take a little while. Alright, that's perfect. Then you're gonna boil some water and once it's boiling, you're gonna take a spoon and scoop little balls of dough that you're gonna put into the hot boiling water. Then in a separate pan, you're gonna cook up some bacon and fry it until they become very crispy. Check your knidlen and if they're swimming on the surface of the water, they are done. But ours still need a little bit more time. So meanwhile, we're gonna prepare the sauce. So we just pour in heavy cream into the pan. Our knidlen are done, so we're gonna put them into a strainer to remove the water. So once the heavy cream is like bubbling, you can put in your knidlen one by one so you don't burn yourself. Place them carefully with love and care and then you just mix everything up together. So when everything is mixed together it should look like this. Now your knidlen are ready to plate and ready to serve. Knidlen are also very well suited as a side dish, so you don't have to use them as a main dish if you want. They are very, very... And there you go! These are the recurated museum's Knidlen. A good one. And that's how you make Knidlen. Hello! Hello! I'm Alice. I'm playing. What you just saw was the preparation of Knidlen. Why did we actually chose Knidlen? I think Knidlen is one of the first things you see as someone not local to Luxembourg. And you think whenever people eat Knidlen for the first time, they remember the experience either to tell to friends what they ate, which they probably haven't tried before. Mm. Oh, I forgot to say that what we have here are the three essential ingredients to make Knibble and they're all local locally bought produced in Luxembourg this one says made in Luxembourg this one also says made in Luxembourg and this is Luxle which I hope most of it is in Luxembourg see there's no reason to use anything that's not from Luxembourg to make this Luxembourgish dish obviously you can add any other ingredients like seasoning whatsoever we also make it with bacon and the cream sauce but you don't have not to keep uh, additional calories a very popular variation which we have at the university canteen very often is Knidlen mud gemais yeah so vegetarian it's a very versatile dish that represents in a way Luxembourgish culture I feel like Luxembourgish culture is also versatile because of the multiculturality and of the many external influences that make Luxembourgish identity and I feel like that's something I also see in Knibble and on that note I think in a certain sense you also add your own flavor to the dish in the same way we perhaps don't have a very clearly defined way of determining people or culture as Luxembourgish I hope you enjoyed this and you had some insightful takeaways that go beyond the Luxembourgish national dish. This video is part of an online exhibition called Lux Life, where we are trying to show you some aspects of Luxembourgish identity through, for example, Knitten, like Luxembourgish cuisine. There's another one on Kronburg Hischerchen, which is also pretty interesting, so definitely check it out. And check out the entire exhibition to see what other interesting things you can explore about Luxembourg Jardins made by our fellow colleagues and yeah I hope you enjoyed it I hope you have some takeaways you can check out the other videos of our colleagues on our channel yes check out every other social media link below. put a like put a comment share it with everyone all the links are in the description we are thankful for your support and appreciate it if you could share it with as many people as possible.